Welcome to the Pilates on 5th UltimatePilatesWorkouts.com video podcast. I'm Kimberly. And I'm Catherine. Today's sequence involves the lovely Stretchies, which is a wonderful nylon lycra loop invented by Kimberly Dye of Dynamic Movement. It provides resistance or support or traction and it gives you nice tactile cueing for performing exercises with proper technique, meaning if you do it right, you do it better and you get more results. So, today's sequence will be for neck and shoulders. So we'll go into our double loop cape. So we're going to drape this over Catherine's shoulders like she's a Victorian princess or Dracula, depending on the way she's acting. Um, <laughs> so far she's a Victorian princess, princess today. today. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so the key here, we, what we did is we slid her arms through the back loop. So that it's double, doubled over and then your hands slide through the loops. Your elbow may poke out the back depending on the length of your forearms. But the key here, I'll do it since they can't see, is you don't want anything with the wrists. You don't have a wrist for the purposes of this exercise. You want to keep that nice straight line from fingertips to elbow, so a nice strong wrist. And keep energy in your pinky finger will help you get that nice open shoulder feeling. If you let that go and you focus on other fingers, you will end up rolling forward. And the key here is to open the collarbone, sit nice and tall. So energize especially your pinky finger and you get that nice open feeling. The stretchies helps you feel that opening of the shoulders because the cape comes around, the cape, the stretchies cape <laughs> comes around and opens your shoulders for you. So with nice energy in those pinky fingers, we'll start with shoulder elevation depression. So inhale up and exhale down. And all the while she's just doing shoulder shrugs, inhale up. As she goes down, she feels the stretchies helping her release her upper traps. We all know we spend too much time like this, whether we're driving or whatever. And this is nice to feel the tension melt away. And one more inhale, shoulders up and exhale, shoulders down. From here, still energizing our pinky fingers, we'll take the shoulders up and circle to the back and down. Lovely. And come up, back and down. And this is three, so shoulder rolls are going back and this helps with the opening of the shoulders. The stretchies is sort of pulling you into a nice position. So we're gonna do two forward just because our shoulders do go both ways, but we're gonna end with back because back is where most of us need to be in life. And then one, two more. Two more going back, yep. And one more. Lovely, stay here, still energizing those pinky fingers. We'll just protract and retract the scapula. So a nice way to think of it is you bring your fingertips together and then you bring your fingertips apart. So you are sending your scapula away from each other. I'm scapula right now. And then you're pulling your scapula closer together. And the stretchies helps with this as well because you feel that opening across the back and then you feel it closing across the back, which is quite nice. And just one more. Yes, and stay here. Now I'm gonna pull this down for you just a bit so that you can really feel this next one. You're going to keep your hands where they are and just press your upper back into the stretchies. So it's almost like you're sending your sternum towards the stretchies. Obviously not, but it's an image. And coming back, I love it when people write in and say, your sternum can't do that. Yes, I know. <laughs> and exhale, pressing back. So this can be a nice stretch for the mid traps and rhomboids, and also just a nice way to release all the tension that we all hold here and coming back. And stay exactly where you are. We'll start with one arm at a time for our little rotator cuff. So right arm first. And we send it away. There's something that this reminds me of and I don't know yet. Ooh, there she goes. And we'll just do one more. So again, <laughs> the pinky it. finger is staying energized the entire time. And now we open both together. Yes, very nice. And it helps you keep this nice lengthened, keep going, okay. lengthening your neck out. <laughs> She doesn't move unless I tell her to. I'm Keeping lengthening people. your neck out. So one thing, she's sitting to the side so you might not be able to see, but it's very important to do all of this not like this, that you have to have the ear right in line with the shoulders. And the stretchies, yes, it does help with that, as I was it's saying before, because it pulls like the, right where C7 is, it's sort of, you have that feeling of C7 pulling down so that your, the rest of your cervical spine can lengthen up out of that feeling. Alrighty, so let's slide this off of you. And, oh no, my favorite. I can't believe I almost forgot my favorite, <laughs> the head circles. So with the pinky finger still energized and the shoulders depressed, meaning not overly depressed, not but depressed, depressed to ne neutral, yes. Yeah. We'll start, let's take the right ear to the right shoulder and coming up, yes. And the left ear to the left shoulder and then back 
and right ear to right shoulder. Now, this is great because keeping those pinky fingers energized and the stretchies is helping the shoulders stay in the perfect placement. You get a fabulous neck stretch here. This actually is my very favorite, which I can't believe I was right. <laughs> and one more. And now stay there and just look right and left. Look right but without tilting the chin up and down. Yes, and coming back. So it's very hard if you're doing this on your own to make sure, I'm just gonna do it wrong real quick. It's very easy when you turn your head to lift your chin or drop your chin. So you wanna keep it in the same horizontal plane and right and left. And then look straight center again. Take the right ear to the right shoulder. And from here, do little chin circles. So you come down and around, yes. And then down and around. And this should feel really nice. As you take this little Yes, if you take this little path, you'll get a nice stretch in the levator scapula, which is quite lovely. It is the muscle that most of us need to stretch so that our heads aren't 50 feet forward of our bodies mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And the stretchies all the while, especially if you keep those pinky fingers nice and energized, is keeping your shoulders nice and down so that you actually get a stretch when you do this. And one more to even it out, right? Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. So now we're going to move to the um, double fold head wrap. So you ponytail, the ponytail out, or we'll just, let's put her out just so it's not slippery. Okay. We might have used too much conditioner this morning. <laughs> so from here, you have your arms energized and the fingertips point to the ceiling. And again, that pinky fingers energized. So you don't want to be doing this and you don't want to be doing anything wonky. So let's just start. Basically, if we clapped our hands in front, we just open them and we're here. Yes, thank you. <laughs> So from here, we'll look right and left again, and this is a good place to press the back of your head gently into the stretchies, so the stretchies is guiding you into proper positioning, right? So do it wrong real quick. Let's just show what not to do, and just look forward so you don't hurt yourself. So you don't want to use your arms to pull your head forward. Arms stay in your eyesight, but to the side, and then you reach your head, lengthen your head into the stretchies, don't chicken head it because that's not good either. Okay, I think we cleared that up. Yep. And right and left and make sure you're not, keep going, right and left. Yep. And left, lovely. And then little chin circles here as well. Yes. And there are little baby ones here because you get that nice lengthening. And this makes sure you keep the nice opening in the back of the cervical spine. Yes. So we did our side turns. And now bring your head forward and you have to be careful here. You're thinking of going up and over. So you are a fountain and the fountain of water is going up and over. You're not a, you're not a trickle. It's a fountain. There's power coming from your center and taking you over. So her hands are guiding her over. She's not pulling. Just do it wrong real quick. Yeah, notice that is not what she's doing. Reaching up, you're coming up and over. So if we could continue, ah, let's make her ponytail the spout. This is what's happening. The energy's coming up and over. It's a lovely stretch for the muscles in the back of the neck, all your cervical extensors, but you can't pull on your head. The arms are out there stationary and you're keeping the back of your head reaching into the stretchies so you get that nice lengthening. The front of the cervical spine stays open. So she has a nice Fabergé egg here. The Fabergé egg is never crushed, right? We've got that lovely Fabergé egg. All righty, how did that feel? Very good. Okay. Very so that is our neck and shoulders sequence with the stretchies.